Hi everyone, I'm going to demonstrate some pretty basic symbolization questions today. Uh, these are pretty straightforward, but they just sort of require you to be a bit comfortable with breaking down sentences. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is the following. Symbolize this. Either determinism is true or I am free. Now, there's nothing really tricky about this. Um, it's just sort of nice to mark things up. So here I have either or, that's sort of a nice thing to recognize. And then now I can sort of look at my symbolization scheme or my abbreviation scheme and pad things in. Determinism is true is U, that's easy. I am free is V. Now this is nothing to it. You just have to recognize that either or is of course a um, stylistic variant of just plain old or. So this just says determinism is true or I am free. Absolutely nothing to this type of question. Okay, let's move on. So for this one, uh, this says, although God exists, determinism is true. Now again, we just want to recognize some basic things. So over here, I have a comma, which rec uh, we should recognize as sort of indicating a main break. And I have this important word here, although. Now again, this is the same story as before. We just re need to recognize that although is a stylistic variant for and, and then now God exists, I look at my abbreviation scheme and I realize that's Q, and determinism is true, that's U. Now I'm ready to symbolize. All I have to do is realize that the although is paired with the main break, the connective here. This is sort of an oddity in English that I actually can say the and part, uh, the and connective, prior to my two cases. So I say although God exists, determinism is true, really just means God exists and determinism is true. Because although is a stylistic variant of and. That's it. There you go. How about this? God's existence is a necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of angels. Again, a very straightforward one. You just have to realize necessary and sufficient condition is a stylistic variant for something. Now on its own, a necessary condition would be a stylistic variant for a conditional that introduces the consequent. And a sufficient condition would introduce the antecedent, and and is this. But we don't really need to worry about any of that, because necessary and sufficient together, we should just know as a connective, is the biconditional. So God's existence, God exists, that's Q, is a necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of angels. Angels exist, are. Now remember, always be a bit generous with the abbreviation scheme. Sometimes it doesn't match up perfectly, but you just need to use some common sense to make it work. This symbolizes as Q by conditional R. Okay, the last one we're going to do is also pretty straightforward, but I suppose there's a slight complication here. This is the first one we have where there's more than one connective. So the first thing I should realize for if determinism is true, then neither am I free, nor does God exist. I have uh, the if-then here, okay? So that's quite important. I also realize that I have a comma, which indicates the main break, and I have another connective here, which I need to recognize as a stylistic variant, neither nor. In fact, neither nor is one of those important phrases that we've learned uh, and we need to know how to symbolize it. Now I can just pad this out. Determinism is true is you. I am free, or am I free, V. Does God exist? God exist is Q according to my symbolization scheme. Now, this is not so bad. All I have to ask is which is the main connective? Is it going to be this neither nor thing or is it the if then? Well, I just need to look at the comma and realize that my main connective must be the if then, so I have to preserve it as the main connective, which means U is my antecedent and then here is my consequent. Now, if I want to, I can put it in brackets. I can assess that later, but I just need to make sure that this stays as the main connective. How do I symbolize neither am I free nor does God exist? Neither nor symbolizes in two ways, and you can choose. So one way is to say it's not the case that I am I free or God exists, and that's fine. Or you could do it the split way, which is it's not the case that V and it's not the case that Q. Both of these represent neither nor. Now, do I need brackets around the consequent? 
No, I don't need them, strictly speaking, because in informal notation, the uh, conditional dominates this uh, or connective here, or the and connective here, or the negation, doesn't matter. But it doesn't hurt to put them in if you just want to make it crystal clear to yourself and to the marker that you realize that the conditional is the main connective. Now, when you actually answer this question, you wouldn't provide both of these symbolizations like I've done it. You would just provide one or the other, and that's perfectly fine. So this was a very basic introduction. If you've already been working through practice problems, these two will seem trivially easy to you. But just notice that I take my time, I, I, I mark up the sentence before I start symbolizing, I put down some components, I basically just do some basic easy work before I actually go to symbolize it that will make it so my final symbolization is actually much more likely to being structurally correct. And then I just make sure all the little parts are right. Okay, give these a shot. Good luck.